Eyewitness Sports right now. The New York State Department of Health has designated multiple sports as high risk sports. Basketball and ice hockey not allowed to play until approved by the state government. But what exactly makes these winter sports riskier than some of the fall sports we just saw playing games? Dr. Andrew Bushnell of Rome Memorial Hospital says there's one clear cut line that's crossed by those high risk sports. Well, the most risk in getting this virus is from close physical contact with an individual who has the virus and who is not wearing a mask. Rome Memorial Hospital Emergency Department Director Dr. Andrew Bushnell says the only way to know who has the coronavirus is by getting tested and seeing the results. He says that creates a problem for many winter sports. Inside a gym, I think it's going to be very difficult you know, to guarantee the safety of players, especially at a high school level or even a collegiate level uh, with just testing alone. He says the main concern is these winter sports are played indoors. Bushnell says studies show the virus hangs and spreads through the air, making sports where players are breathing hard in close proximity especially dangerous. And there's a great chance that if someone has COVID-19 on a basketball court, they would expose all the other players on that court. Bushnell says fall sports were still a risk, but less of a risk than playing in a contained space. He says he'll wait to endorse the start of high risk sports until there's a vaccine that most people have taken. I don't believe that the use of masks on a basketball court per se uh, where it's difficult enough to have the stamina to play the game for these athletes, to expect them to wear a mask and play it is, is not really feasible. Bushnell says it is feasible, though, that the United States population could be vaccinated as early as the next three to six months. He says he's optimistic that outdoor sports like baseball, softball, and non cross can be played this spring as long as everyone wears a mask at all times. So for now, that's all for sports. Be sure to check out cnyhomepage.com for all your top sports stories and also the scores of the NFL game this evening. There's more Eyewitness News after the break. So stay friendly and stay tuned.